he had left Starbucks to, to go home and uh, to finish writing his paper when the accident happened. I'm a trial litigating paralegal. I am the mother of a son who was tragically injured in a rear end collision. I'm a mama bear, I guess, as most of you would know. This is my son's car. He sustained a closed head injury. They offered him a little over $2,000 in change for this kind of a impact. Imagine how much force was taken to strike this car. Within less than 24 hours, less than 24 hours, an oral agreement is being done. He had yet gone to go get checked. He had started competing in powerlifting that he picked up in college. He can't do that anymore. He can no longer power lift. He trains, he has to be careful when he works out all the time. He sustained a closed head concussion at the time of the accident. It's, it's sad, it's really sad that this has happened to him. You know, he he's doing so well. Yeah, um, powerlifting, training, and he, he'll he lift a little bit, but he's not nearly lifting competitively anymore. He's got over 14,000 right now in medical damages. They fixed his car and they offered him just a little over 2,000. My patients are gone because I'm so disgusted the way they treated my son. And then to think that it's happened to other people and some people may say, well, your son's only $14,000 in the hole. I've got X. Now that makes me even more upset that that's happened to others. I mean, it's, it's wrong. I'm for this bill. And then after this happened to my son, wouldn't you know, a different insurance company calls me, smooth talking, trying to say, it's a guy calling a girl, I'm here as paralegal. Hey, you know, we're, let's just get this over and done with right away. Let's just, you know, put some money in your client's pocket. They can take it and go. They can do what they need to do and not have to deal with any of this jumbo stuff. Let's just do that and be done with it. And, you know, I thought for a moment, oh my God, he's trying to do that to me and you're calling my office. What did they do to my son? How dare they?